Hey guys, my name is Gus and I am the co-host of Dive Talk. I'm also a scuba diving instructor and I'm a cave diver and a technical diver as well. And Orca Torch reached out to us because they have a few lights coming out in the market. Uh, actually, some of these are already released and they wanted us to kind of put it to its spaces and test all the functionality, do an unboxing perhaps on the camera. And, you know, I, I really wanted to do that. And the main reason for that is that the first light I ever bought when I got certified was an Orca torch. So since then, I've actually own a, a, another one. I'll show it to you in a second. But it's been a couple of years since the last time I checked out their products because, I mean, that's the cool thing about Orca torches is that they last forever. They're built like a tank. And I haven't had the need to really buy another light from them. So I, I'm kind of disconnected to some of the new lights that are out in the market from them. So I welcome, you know, the invitation to check out some of the new lights. Um, so, you know, thank you, Orca Torch, for sending the lights. By the way, this is not a sponsor video. Orca Torch did not pay us to review these. They sent it to us uh, in order for us to give them an impartial review. And that's exactly what I'm going to do on this video. So I'm not, you know, giving them a, a positive review just because they sent us the light. This is 100% honest what I think about these lights. So here is my, my Orca Torch. Uh, this is a D520. It's a thousand lumen, I believe, is the first one I ever got, uh, my first light. But, you know, I always saw it as a, you know, kind of like a backup light, even though this was my main light. Plus, you know, I, I bought this way before I went through training for night and limited visibility. I did not have the concept of bringing, you know, backup lights with you because I was diving during the day anyway. But once I started getting interested in night diving, which is, by the way, one of my favorite, you know, types of diving, I really fell into, okay, I need to have more than one light. So what I did was I tried to look for a primary light, something that gave me more than a thousand lumen, because I knew that I can always go back to this one, you know, as a backup. And I've had it again since then. I've used it a bunch of times and it's awesome. It's actually sometimes in during the day, if I'm doing a, a, a day dive, I don't bring my primary lights, my big lights. Uh, I only bring my Orca torches. I bring both of them. I, I have two identical ones, two D520s. And Here's the other one, just so you can see it, just different colors. I bought this one after the fact, and this one is the oldest one. They both work great. So, you know, again, when they reach out to me and they, they ask us to, to review these lights, I jumped on the opportunity. You know, one of the things I wanted to check is, I think the, the main complaint I have with my Orca Torch lights, the old ones that I have, the D520s, is that they're very easy to activate. So in one hand, I really, really like the simplicity of just twisting to activate. So if I twist the light, as you can see, it's on. If I untwist, it's off. Very, very easy. No buttons, no nothing to be like double tap if you want high, double ta tap for down. Like I, I don't like that. Like when I'm diving, I want it to be as simple as possible. I want to twist on, done, on a full power and call it a day. The problem with that is that in order for you to have it kind of set properly so when you twist it goes on like the way I have it, if you dive deep, the air inside of the light, because the light is airtight essentially so water doesn't go in, um, can compress and activate the light. So I've been in super long cave dives, for example, and when I came out, you know, my, my buddies were like, I, you know, I, your pocket was lit up the whole time because this thing will be on in my pocket. And just to show you how easy it is to activate, let's switch to the other camera kind of to give you an overhead idea of what these lights look like so I can show you how easy it is to activate when you go at depth. I think that if you go up to like 60 feet or, or 100 feet, you're probably okay. Uh, but once you start going deeper than 60, you know, it, it you, there's a chance, depending on how you have it set up, that it will activate. So let's switch to the other camera so I can show you what I'm talking about. The the one thing that I, I like I said, I don't like about this, this light, and you can see it's all beat up. Um, I don't know if you can see all the scratches on it and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, this thing has been everywhere, and it's it's awesome. But like I said, you know, when the air compresses, Essentially, just imagine that I'm pushing this part this way because the air is compressing, it's making everything tighter. So look what happens. So if I push into it, the light goes on. And I'm not doing it too hard. Like I'm not struggling with this. I'll do it one-handed, look. 
I'm just gonna grab it with my hand and I'm gonna squeeze. Look, just squeeze a little bit and it goes on. So obviously the solution for that is for you to, you know, kind of unscrew it a little bit more and maybe that will help you, let's see. Yeah, so you see it's harder now. Now I'm struggling and it doesn't go on. So yeah, if you go a couple of turns, then you'll be okay. But it's hard to know, like when I'm gonna drop this thing on a pocket, it's hard to know if I did it enough or didn't do it enough. Now I will say, and you can see, this is typically how I carry them when I when I fly or, or, or travel with them. Um, I They have triple O-rings, right? To make sure, once again, the water doesn't get in. So I'm gonna unscrew it triple o-rings um, typically what I do is I, I only push in the first o-ring I feel the pressure going in so once that first o-ring is in I travel in with them like that the problem with that is that I've taken it in dives like this and thank goodness for the quality of orca torches because none of them even though I've done it like two or three times none of them has you know essentially flooded and, and broke uh, in the middle of the of the dive so so that's good but then you have to remember to kind of you know screw it if you want to if you want to use it which is a pain so anyway i'm excited about the new lights uh let's bring it on and check them out so this is number one which is a d580 and this is light number two which is the the big one i guess the d710 now one thing that i would love for orca torch to do is to name their products with kind of like the lumens that you have because you would never know that the d580 actually has 530 lumen and that the d710 actually has 3000 so you know that's one thing that i like about for example big blue lights which is when you read the name of it like i don't know vlt 8000 you know it's an 8000 lumen light it's pretty straightforward um, so I would love to see that from Market Torch, but you know, that's that's minor. So let's go ahead and open these and see what what we're gonna get. I haven't opened these at all. I know that it looks like it was already kind of open, but I haven't taken this out or opened them in any way. I wanted to show you how it comes out of the factory. So let's uh, let's give it a shot. Plus, every time I pack something, I destroy it. So I don't think I could have unpacked this and then see it's already falling out and then pack it back the way it was out of the factory, no chance. All right, so I didn't want to risk it. I'd rather open it with you, okay? So it comes with a user manual. Um, let's see, new two-in-one. I don't know, it has the, like a green laser thing. And again, this is the 570 GL. Why does it have a, oh, so it's, oh, okay. So it's like a catalog for some of the other ones. So that's that's why when I saw that laser, I'm like, what what is that? Okay, so this is kind of a catalog for all their lights. Okay, cool. And then the user manual. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think, in some cases. Now, the interesting part about this light, which is, I think, why people kind of, um, you know, prefer it in, in some cases, is that it works with AAA batteries. It allows you to use AAA batteries, uh, which are available all over the world. In some cases, if you're using one of the, the other batteries, the rechargeable batteries, then you have to bring the, recharge, the, you know, the charger with you in order to recharge the batteries but the cool thing about this one is that it is you know it operates with AAA batteries now let me compare it with my d520 okay so they're about the same size this one is a little bit i think thicker just because it has three AAA batteries rather than a single 18650 battery which is what comes in this one um but uh in terms of how tall they are I mean they are almost the same the same length I would say so this one is a little bit taller but not by much now the cool thing about this one is that yes it takes AAA batteries but it also accepts an 18650 so if you want a rechargeable battery and you have a charger and all of that okay so it comes with that thing obviously so the batteries don't oh cool so they provide they provide uh, three AAA batteries already ready to go uh, these lights, by the way, are, are made in China. I have nothing against, you know, stuff made in China. I have an iPhone. All iPhones and iPads are made in China, so I don't think they're bad quality just because they're made in China, but just wanted to bring that up. Um, oh, okay, so that's cool. So I don't know if you can see that. It's a sample, not for sale, which is cool because I'm actually thinking about giving these away at some point, maybe when we hit our 
1,000 subscriber mark. So if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that because I think we're going to give these lights away or maybe some other cool stuff. So let me... Okay, so it's twist on, twist off, kind of like the D520s. That's cool. Um, but once again, you know, the simplicity of not having any buttons or anything that you can bump into you know a, a wall or something like that and have it on and then you know dying on you later on to that later on in the dive that's eliminated but then you have that problem which is if you twist it just enough i bet i can do it see just by squeezing my hand i can do it and I, let me see if i i don't even have to put pressure on the on the tail cap yeah i do okay so if i put pressure but that's what air is going to do when it compresses when you go at depth so once the air compresses, this thing is going to be on the whole time. By the way, um, just looking at the box, it's 530 lumen. As I mentioned, that is only if you're using the rechargeable battery, the 18650, which is funny enough, the same one that comes in these, right? In the D520s. So if you already have D520s and you want to upgrade for some reason to the, um, the 580, you can do that. So this is the same battery it would fit on, on this guy. Even though it's a little bit shorter, it would still fit, uh, which is great. Um, but once again, it's the same kind of, you know, way to operate it. You twist, it goes on, you untwist, and it goes off, and that's pretty much it. So that's the, the D580. These are all tested, by the way, to 150 meters of depth, which is which is a lot, 450 feet or so, uh, a little bit more than that, uh, which is a lot more than, you know, most divers, you know, are going to go to. Um, I think most divers will max out technical divers at about 100 meters, so 330 feet. Uh, this one is all the way to 450. So if you go even to 400, whatever it is, these are good to go. And again, they're built like a tank, same build quality. Like I'm, I'm touching the both of them. Man, I have no doubt that this thing is gonna last forever. Just like this one, all you have to do is just throw a bolt snap in there with some cave line and you're good to go, as you can see. Awesome. All right, so let's put this to the side and let's open up the other one. As I mentioned, three and a half hours of runtime, by the way, a full power. There's nothing else but full power, you know, with these. The only thing is, again, the power changes a little bit when um, when you're using AAA versus the 18650. So the 18650, you get that full 500 plus lumen. I believe the AAAs give you 480, so a little bit less, but they're a lot easier to find. You find them everywhere, you slap it in there. I mean, it's kind of like the difference between having an electric car and a gas car, right? You have AAA batteries on your on your bag somewhere. Oh, it's running low. Boom, just putting three new ones and you're good to go for the dive. It takes five seconds to put in some batteries. And a um, couple of extra old rings, which are great. Uh, they are already they already have some lubricant on it, which is cool. So you just, take, once again, take them out and put them back, put them on the light and then a lanyard if you want to. I don't recommend using these. You lose them all the time. I found them, by the way, at the Spiel Grove. I, every time I go, I feel like I find lights and reels and all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, just take care of your lights. Use a bolt snap. I like these, by the way. I know it's, this is not the purpose of the video, but I like these butterfly bolt snaps because you just, you know, just throw them in. You don't have to, like, calculate where it is. You just find the, the D-ring or whatever you're going to slap them. And because they're angled like that, uh, it would just go in. So I, I like these a lot. Just It's a lot easier to, to snap them in. This one, as you can see, doesn't have it because this is the oldest one. It's literally like the bolt snap I had laying around. I just put it on it. But later on, you know, I was a more informed diver. Um, so I started doing the, the butterfly ones. Okay, so let's switch to the big one, the D710. Um, the box is just a box. It doesn't really say anything. Um, you know, I kind of like the packaging on this one because it tells you everything about it, but it looks like more, I don't know, commercially appealing, but let's open this up and see what's inside. Oh, cool. Okay. So this is kind of like a crush resistant, you know, package or, or, or pouch, I guess. I don't know if you're going to carry your light on this all the time. I think it will get old, but... Uh, because it occupies a lot of space and I'm, I'm kind of a, into consolidating a lot, but um, it, it's pretty cool. And it's, you know, it reminds me to those, you know, cases that the the Shearwater computers comes in. I do think the Shearwater computer ones are a little bit like thicker, like better made maybe. So this might be my feedback for Orca Torch. Just make this a little bit better. But once again, I wouldn't carry my light on this thing. I would just 
I have a bag where I toss all my lights. I have four of them. I take four, my four lights on every dive trip that I go to. And I just have, you know, my, um, my bag with all my lights. Okay. Little sticker says D710. I don't know if you can see that. D710 dive light made in China. Once again, not a problem for me. Let's open this up. Let me take this box out of the way. And open it up. Hmm, cool. Okay. So same stuff with the manuals on this side. This is a warranty card. Okay. I didn't see a warranty card on the other one, but yet again, I didn't stop to look at all the paperwork. Um, another, okay, so a lanyard with, I guess, instructions in English and I assume that's Mandarin, Chinese, um, Cantonese, I don't know. Um, okay, so that's all there. And here's the light. Okay, so in terms of size, so the first thing I notice obviously is the button. This one has a button. There's no more twisting or whatever like the other ones. It makes it more complicated, but at the same time, it's not susceptible to that issue of going deep and then having the light activate because of the pressure, right? The change on, on the pressure uh, inside of the chamber of the battery chamber. So this one, you hit a button and then it goes on. Obviously this one's not going on because it probably has that sticker protecting the battery uh, for shipping. So we'll do that. The button doesn't seem like you would bump it easily. I like it. There's some, there is some, um, you know, heft to it, I would say, I don't know. And also if you notice right in the middle, there's like a light bulb. All right. So I, I assume that is a light bulb right there in the middle because one of the things I, I notice about this light is that it's supposed to have a battery indicator to tell you, you know, if it's fully charged, if you're in the middle or running low. Same thing, this orange right here, which I'm digging a lot. Anything that's orange, by the way, if you want to sell me something, make it orange. That's kind of like my favorite color. My rebreather is orange. All my hoses are orange. Everything I can find, my fins are orange. Um, so, yes, this is do more of that. Um, really, really like them in comparison of size. And you can tell that the D710 is just a lot bigger. I would say about an inch bigger or two and a half, three centimeters longer, let's just say. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and open it up. This one has a rechargeable battery. It doesn't use AAA batteries. Okay. There it is. So as I... As I imagine, it was protected. So let's take the protection off of it and let's look at, whoa, look at this battery. It's huge. But you know why it's huge? Because check that out. It's USB type C rechargeable. You can just recharge it straight into the battery, which is pretty awesome. Now I wish you could just charge it like on the, on the tail cap. I don't know if you can even remove this again. I, I haven't done a whole lot of research nope i guess that's not removable and it's not because you can see the coil in there i don't think you can see it it's too dark uh, but there's the the coil all the way to the bottom so i guess you have to open it to charge it which is kind of inconvenient i mean i don't know um if that's uh that's something i would have done i kind of like the idea of taking the tail cap off and plugging the plugging the cable in the back that kind of makes sense to me or on the side or whatever um the back makes sense because it will be a cap that you can pressurize and that way the electronics don't get messed up but um yeah i mean work a torch i i don't like that as an engineer i feel like that was a cop out like let's just charge the back but it's cool i mean it's cool technology uh i i i don't own a single battery that is rechargeable like that other than the massive batteries that go into like the heater for the rebreather or you know canister lights you know like some of those lights you have to plug it in into the battery but they're massive but i've never had one that was like this kind of a small package um that is rechargeable now if I, we compare with the 18650 which a lot of people have you can see it's bigger right obviously but you need a charger for this one you don't need a charger for this one you can just use your phone charger assuming that you're not on an iphone uh you know you can use that usb-c so let's let's put it in and see how it looks once again triple o-rings love that keep doing that orca torch don't change <laughs> so 
that's not one thing I want to change at all. I think that's cool. Okay, so that is tight all the way and you can see the lights not coming on. Let's turn on the light and see. Whoa, okay. So it's solid. By the way, I don't know if you can see, it looks like super, super small or narrow. Both of these lights are 6%, 6% uh, beam which is great for cave diving, for example, or for night diving, even for communication purposes. You know, when you give an okay sign, are you okay or come here or whatever, or look at that fish, um, you know, it's good to have a hot center like this, right? You want to have a dot. Now, if you're shooting video or pictures or whatever it is, you want it to be a spread. You don't want the center to be like that. This is a bad light for photography or for videos. So don't buy this if that's what you want it for. Uh, this is great for exploring. Like I'm going around, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, whatever. Um, this is great for that. Obviously doing signals, that's great but you know you can do it with a light and people can see it. So that that's important. And obviously if you're gonna be using this on a cave, you know, it's very, very important that you have a narrow beam or a narrow uh, focus essentially so you can signal because everything we do in caves, we kind of signal with lights. It is getting pretty warm uh, right now. And obviously this is meant to be used underwater so they don't overheat. Uh, but man, like my hand is getting cooked right now just by pointing the light. So it's very, very intense. Um, it, it, it definitely definitely has a lot of power and again it's 3000 lumen now this one has multiple uh multiple settings or whatever uh multiple intensities so if i click it you can see that it's going through a cycle so that's number one number two three and then off now depending on how you run it depending on the cycles that you're running and i pulled the information here so i can i can tell you if you run it in high by the way is 1700 lumens in high and it goes for an hour and 40 minutes an hour and 40 minutes in high if you run it in middle which is that second level after i clicked it again it goes for three hours and 40 minutes and that is 800 lumen which is pretty good it's not as bright as this guy the little brother but um it will run for three hours and 40 minutes whereas this guy right here will run for three and a half hours all right and then if you run if you run it on low, which is 400 lumen, which is still pretty good, 400 lumens will run for seven hours and 40 minutes on a full charge, which is great. But Gus, you said it was 3,000 lumen. Yes. So for some reason, Orca Torch decided to add another mode called Turbo. Why Turbo? I don't know. Why not high, medium high? Uh, I don't know. But whatever. It's called Turbo. And that is 3000 lumen. And there's actually no runtime data on that. If you look at their website right now, at least when I'm recording this video, it has a, 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 um, a slash, <laughs> it's like an NA, I guess. Uh, like if runtime wasn't applicable when it's on turbo. And the reason for that is, and I, I don't know this for sure, maybe uh, Orca Torch should chime in and, and uh, you know add a comment below. Um, the reason for that is because I believe if you go full turbo, then as the time goes by, I think the intensity is probably going to start cutting off. I don't think this thing is going to run to 3000 for whatever, you know, until it goes off, until the battery dies. I doubt it. Uh, most lights, by the way, are like that. Um, you know, and obviously these lights are meant to be used on the water for dry, you know, when I, for my EDC, my everyday carry, I actually carry these lights. I'm a big fan of this company, El Seta is the name of their company, um, and they make these lights in Kentucky. They're made in the US. I have a bunch of them. Uh, they come in three different sizes, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, and that is for how many batteries you can carry on them, and that also increases the intensity. This thing is the toughest flashlight in the planet, uh, or on the planet. Um, you can take these apart underwater completely. They have, full, they have fully potted electronics, Put them back together on the water, screw them back in, and it works. And they're awesome. Um, so these lights right here are built to run at whatever intensity you have until they die. But most lights, like 99.999% of lights in the market, don't do that. Um, so again, when I'm, you know, if I'm traveling, whatever, I have, I don't know how many I'll set us. I probably have more than 10, and I've been, I've, I've gifted a lot of them. 
to friends and my, my dad and, and whatnot. Um, so this one, I think it probably will, just like most lights again in the world, will start decreasing the lumens as it goes. Now, how do you get to turbo? I don't know. Do you have to hold down? Double click? How do you? I don't know. And this is part of not reading the, see if holding down does anything. Maybe that is turbo. I mean, it's pretty warm. So high, medium, low. No, I have no idea how to get to turbo actually. And um, I don't know if I want to read the whole manual just so we can find out how to get to turbo. Maybe we should. Let's see. What is this? Max thousand lumens. I don't even know where the manual is. This is 710. Okay, let's see. How do we get to turbo? Output here are the outputs that I was just talking about. So there's turbo. So here, uh, instead of you going to the website, see it has like an asterisk on the runtime for turbo. So come on, camera. 140, three hours and 40 minutes, seven hours and 40 minutes turbo slash. Okay, sorry if that didn't uh, focus. But uh, let's see, operate, operating instructions, battery indicator, safe log intelligent on time uh, in any light mode long press the side switch half second to enter the 3000 lumen mode long press the side switch so the button there's no other switch for half a second to enter the 3000 lumen mode release the switch then back to the original lighting mode that's weird okay so I don't, do I let go like I'm not really sure what to do. These instructions are confusing. Okay, so do I turn it on and then half a second? Oh, okay. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's go to low to see if we can see the difference. Ooh. Yep. That's it. Okay. So the light has to be on. See. So this is why this is why I don't like these lights. I don't like lights that are complicated. Like imagine you are uh, on a you know you're tangled inside a wreck with fishing line and you're trying to figure out what mode what button for how long to get into the right it's a problem so to be honest i actually prefer a light like this one even though it has a pitfall of if you only leave it you know if you leave it pretty close to where it activates it will activate underwater with it with pressure i like simple i like these a lot don't get me wrong, this thing is still a tank. I still recommend it if you can get over the 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 whole, you know, memorizing all those modes. But honestly, I want to be able to give a light to somebody that know how to use it. To be honest, this is not hard to figure out. I mean, you grab it, press the button, and it works. Uh, it won't be a 3000, but I mean, even, a, even on high, which is still a lot, you know, 1700 lumen is a lot it works and i think that you will probably use it in 1700 most of the time you're just gonna get somewhere and turn it on and that's it 1700 that's where you're gonna keep it but if you need to get that turbo just press the button and there you have 3000 and i know it doesn't look like 3000 but man you can't even see the paper so those are the two lights that we received from orca torch once again thank you so much orca torch for sending these and if you're watching this and you have some products that you want me to review, feel free to uh, reach out to us. Info at divetalkmedia.com. Let's switch to the other um, camera so we can have some final words. All right. So once again, Orca Torch, thank you so much um, for, for sending these to us. We're big fans of Orca Torch, as you can see. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely uh, put them to use on the water. That's another video coming. I want to take them and try them on the water. Because again, even though I'm frustrated by the whole like buttons on buttons off just to see if you can see i'm turning it on right here um just to see it and by the way the the battery indicator it's like almost impossible to see um so that's another thing let me see if i can get it close in this camera i just don't want to blind you so you can see the battery indicator Can't really see it. Well, maybe like kind of half a distance right there. I mean, it, it's so faint. This this battery indicator that I I really don't know how useful it is. I guess if you're in pitch black, you will see it a lot better. But I am um, 
not impressed. Honestly, I'm not impressed by it. Um, I like the cutouts in the body, and they both have it, by the way. Uh, they have these flat surfaces, which means you can put it down and it should stay down, even though, you know, the head of it is a little bit bigger and it, it rolls a little bit. Depends, depending on, on where you do it, I think it makes it, you know, easier to stay there and also to hold it because you can see I put him, I'm putting my finger on the flat part on the back of it, which also says, I just noticed, um, not for resale, sample, not for sale. So again, I'm not going to sell it. I promise um, I might give it away though, as I mentioned, if we get to a thousand subscribers, uh, so help us get there. But you know, this flat surfaces are, are cool. It allows you to, you know, activate and deactivate a lot easier. It allows you to turn them. You know, these other, the old ones that I have, the D520s, they do also have the flat surfaces. And that is where you kind of like hold down when you're screwing and, uh, you know, unscrewing them so to turn them on. So um, I like that. I like that they kept that going. Um, I, I, I'm looking forward to see how they perform on the water. As I mentioned, I kind of like the simplicity of the D580 a lot better than the operation of the D710. But I mean, the D710 has so many cool features too that I really like. You know, you don't have to run a light at full power all the time like the other ones do. You don't have to, um, you know, um, have to worry about going down and have the 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 light activate by itself uh, that is a major issue and you know with this one with a button and the button is it's hard it doesn't it doesn't i mean it's not easy to to engage it's not super simple so uh, or super you know um i guess easy to, to click so you know if you're looking for a for a primary light meaning a light that you're gonna have maybe clipped into a d-ring or something where you can take out and use. I personally, the reason why I put these bolt snaps on them is because when I hang them on a D-ring, look how long they are, right? So if I if I hang them on a D-ring like this, let me put this down, um, I can actually use them out of my D-ring and never take them off and just let go, and there it is hanging. So I pull it up, I see whatever I need to see, which is you know um, a wreck or whatever it is that I'm looking at, and let go. So if you're gonna use them as a primary, I typically carry them on a D-ring on my BCD, um, but uh, you know this will be a good primary light, you know, just to carry there, and you can see what you're doing. And I think that the D580 is a better backup light, where you you know unscrew it enough so it doesn't activate underwater, and you throw it on a pocket or on a you know if you if you're diving with a butt plate, just put it on the. Uh, on the butt plate and it's hanging, uh, you know, something like that, that is easy. You just can grab it, you know, screw it, boom, on, full power, three and a half hours, perfect. Um, and, you know, I really, really like the whole AAA, the availability to to be able to, you know, drop three AAA batteries in there. I mean, those are available everywhere, you know. Um, if you're staying at a hotel, you can always, you know, borrow the batteries from the remote controls in the room and you know put him on your light and go diving you don't have to worry about you know missing on a on a night dive which by the way they happen you know i was on a trip a couple weeks ago and they were like you guys want to go on a night dive tonight yes so if i didn't have my lights charged or if i use them all morning because we were diving in wrecks or whatever it is we were doing penetration i would have been stuck because i'd be like okay hold on wait for me let me charge my light with this one i don't have to do that boom three triple a's let's go so I see the benefits on both. All in all, great quality. That's what I expected from Orca Torch, by the way. They make tanks of lights. These things are amazing. I mean, they get beat up. Um, this 520, I'm never going to get rid of this light. I'm either going to lose it someday or it's going to disintegrate at some point when I have thousands and thousands of dives because this thing is amazing. And I fully expect the D580 and the D710 will also be amazing if you choose to go that route with Orca Torch. Like I said, I want to give them away. Help us get to a thousand subscribers. Obviously, like this video, share it with other people that might be thinking about dive lights. I have a bunch of lights, as I mentioned uh, you know, earlier in this video. So I want to do a video where I compare different lights, not because of the brand. I don't, I don't really care about 
you know, matching Orca Torch versus Big Blue versus whatever. That's not what I want to do. I think that all the manufacturers we have, uh, for the most part, unless you buy, you know, those Amazon specials that are like $20 for a light, um, the manufacturers that are out there, the, re the reputable manufacturers, all are creating quality stuff. Um, I, I just want to explore what the differences are in something that I carry in my hand versus something I can, you know, just wear in my hand, uh, but have my hands free to grab stuff plus a canister. I want to explore different kinds of lights and I have a bunch of them. So I might make a video if you like the idea so we can talk about dive lights in general because there's just a ton out there. A ton of features I talked about narrow beams versus wide beams versus you know what if should I get something that has a strobe should I get something that has red in addition to white you know I, I there's a lot to talk about and I want to bring that up but for now I hope you enjoy this review and this unboxing of the Orca Torch D580 and D710 and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>